Welcome back. It's day three of Zen Art and our collage project. So I think that we will be able to finish this project today. And um, depending on your needs to maybe let something dry and reapply, that's up to you. But I'm gonna finish my example in this session. So I wish you the best of luck. And I hope that it feels really calming for you to work on this today. I also hope that it's a lot of fun. Okay, so on this project, I have a couple more plants I think I'd like to add coming down in here since I had a day to look at this. I'm also going to attempt to put some clouds in my strange landscape sky and I'm going to use some tissue paper, uh, just white tissue paper for that. The other supply I'm using that's going to come in pretty handy is some Elmer's glitter glue. For my first step today, is to use my scissors and cut the extra paper off of my background. My first task is going to be to work on some clouds. Basically, I don't want any hard edges. And when I glue these, a little bit of a wrinkle would be fine. And that one just being off the edge and a little bit of a crunch, a little bit of a wrinkle. Feels like it adds to this. thinking about how I could use tissue paper in a different way and maybe crumple it and fold it so that it becomes a multi-layered little plant just in this way but because tissue paper is so thin when everything gets compacted it will actually sort of look very flat and normal but I'm just gonna go ahead and you can put glue on top of this and um, underneath it and inside of it to make it glue down very smoothly. Okay, I like that. And I feel like maybe one more plant just using this because it's, it is connected to the sky and got, has these great fork lines. The cool thing is like as we made this of course we just had no idea we had no idea what it would become. So just being really present and looking at the materials and responding to the materials I would say this could be the beginning of another piece like this. Right, like a little tiny plant. And then we could just add two little tiny branches to that little red plant. Just working in what we have. This is just a glitter glue pen and I'm going to just do some edging, just following along Not every piece needs to have it done. So at first I'm sticking with the prominent pieces that will really stand out when I apply it. Just try to keep a steady hand. I need one over here on this. set it apart from this plant plant sort of thing and I'm just going to give it a squeeze from the 
back to push what's left there and it's coming out so just putting a little pressure on the back of the tube I always try to lay my wrist down on something to stabilize my arm and as you do more things like this you'll find that you get a lot more stability but until then uh, it's a really great trick just to oh that's popping up I'm just gonna tuck a little more regular glue under here and I think I'm gonna go over this piece just creating some of that separation this one seems to be calling out for this to be finished.